Hello, welcome to today's lesson where we are still looking at coordinate geometry and now we are going to look at how do we form the uh, equation of a straight line when we are given a double intercept, the x intercept as well as the y intercept, okay? So, let's look at the first example. You know that to come up with the equation, we need the gradient. We need the gradient, okay? Now, let's look at the first equation. What uh, we, are, we are given the remember we are looking at this okay we need our gradient and then the y intercept so the y intercept here is already given as what the y intercept is already given as uh, uh, six okay the y intercept is already given as what as a six so let's 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 go on so we say this is one. Um, y intercept is given as what? This is given as 6. There. The y intercept. This C is the y intercept. Then we look at x. You know, this, the x intercept, okay? The x intercept. If we have this, uh, then you have, uh, this is the x, in, uh, the x intercept, the point at which the line cuts the x axis okay so at that point of the x uh, intercept the y coordinate is zero all right so this is what we are saying so if our x intercept here is uh, if our x intercept is what is um, three then we are going to say what is our what is our m? So this is going to be zero. Then this is going to be x. X is equal to what? To three. So I'm going to write it as three m. Three m plus six. Okay. Three m plus six. We are looking for the value of m. So now, what do we get here? Here we get. Uh, this is going to be like 0 minus 6 is equals to 3m. So this will be minus 6 is equals to 3m. When you divide this, you divide m is equals to minus 2. Okay? So our equation is now going to be... Uh, our equation is now going to be... Coming from this one, we have y is equals to... What is our m? Our m is minus 2 now. Our m is minus 2 x plus 6. The 6 is the y intercept. It's already given. Okay? The 6 is the y intercept. It's already given. So this is what is going to be our, our, our equation. Okay? This is what is going to be our equation. So there are two methods that we can use. This is one method that we can use. This is one method that we can use. Then the other is where you find the gradient. Um, because you know that. Maybe the second method. The second method is where you find the, the gradient. So you know that if you want to write this one in, uh, in coordinate form, this is the 3, comma, 0. And this one is going to be 0, comma, y. On the y intercept, the x coordinate is equal to 0. On the x intercept, the y coordinate is equal to 0. So you can use this to find the gradient. When you find the gradient, what do you get to find the gradient? You know that to find the gradient, we use y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1. I do request that you to benefit from these lessons, you Try to follow these lessons in their order, okay? The lessons that have been presented before these ones, where these uh, things have been uh, discussed in detail, okay? So, this is the second y coordinate here, which is this one. It's going to be like 6 minus 0 over. This is going to be what? 0 minus 3. What do we get here? We have 6 over minus C. Then this is going to give us what? Negative 2. And when we get this, that our gradient is negative 2. Now we are going to write our equation. We are going to write our equation, which will still be y is equals to 
negative 2x, then the, this c is the y-intercept, which is just 6 there. You get this one. So you can either use this method or this one. Okay? You can either use this method or the second one. All right. So that is that. So let's look at the second one. For the second one, I'm going just to use one method. Uh, but you can try both. You can try both just to to get familiar with both methods. It does not. Uh, it doesn't harm you. So let's try this one. So for this one, we are saying the y-intercept is already known. We have y is equals to m x plus c. So this is going to be y is equals to uh, m x plus minus five. That's a minus, so even this one going to be a minus. So like I was explaining, if this is our x coordinate, then the y coordinate is what? Zero. So I'm going to have zero here. Then I say four uh, minus five. What do we get here? This is going to be zero plus five is equals to um, Okay, this is supposed to be m. Okay, so this is going to be 4m, then this is going to be 5 is equals to 4m, uh, divided by 4, divided by 4. So m, which is the gradient, it's 5 over 4. It's 5 over 4. So we can now write our answer using this one, where we're going to say our gradient, I mean our equation is equals to, our gradient is 5 over 4 x, then our y intercept is what? Minus 5. We say minus 5. Alright? This is what is going to be our equation when you are given the double intercepts. I hope uh, when you are given double in uh, intercepts. So, we shouldn't have issues here. Alright? So, let me give you something that you can try. Just from these same questions. I'll just change the, the uh, what is given here. Okay. I'll just change what is given here. Here we have um, intercept. Intercept. So here we are saying find the with intercept x intercept of what negative uh, eight and then y intercept of what one over two then this this one you have an x intercept of what uh, three then y intercept of what minus seven okay. We try out these questions. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel. Please give us the comments on the, how best or your benefits that you are getting from these uh, lessons. Okay? So, please uh, look out for the next lesson. I think we are remaining with two presentations to get to the conclusion of this topic. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Alright, until next time.